Let me see this backpack. This is new? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we are in Wintergreen for the weekend. We got in last night. And so this is our first full day. And we're about to do the Paul's Creek hike. Bridget, are you ready for your first time on Paul's Creek? I'm nervous, but I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. What do these markings mean? So this is a blue blaze trail. <clears throat> and those, the blue paint on the trees is the blaze. So when you're hiking along you just want to make sure that every now and then you still see a blue marker on the tree and that's how you know you're still on the right trail if you're walking for a while and you don't see any blazes you might be lost <laughs> which is actually a hiking tradition of mine I thought it was very nice if Bridget called me a what did you say a experienced, experienced hiker you are that I means am. you hike a lot and I also get lost a lot oh boy but I've done this one a few times, and the, it's marked really well, so. so you probably won't get lost. their barbecue and I think I've had the burger before I can't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna try the chicken tenders. Sounds good. Ooh and here comes the blonde honey. My favorite <clears throat> beer at Wild Wolf which you can get locally at most grocery stores for a sip. Here we go. The freshest blonde honey you can get <laughs> at the only Wild Wolf. <laughs> Will you walking. take a sip? Good. Good. All right, I'm gonna try yours. Area 151. They add real blackberries Fresh during blackberry. the fermentation process. It's not really good. Good? Oh my gosh.
Bridget approved? All right, let me yeah, try you yours. Yeah, try. It's good. I like it. Mine's better. Let me try yours. <laughs> I mean, this is a solid beer. <laughs> But this is also good. Wait, cheers. Cheers to being at your favorite brewery. With the barbecue, with the sauce on the side. And these fries. And I got, what I got? Blackened chicken sandwich. Everything's very hot. What do you think of the fries? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who are you? Who's the girl in the baseball hat? <laughs> what? Little blonde honey. Oh. Oh, turn around. Refresh your inner animal. <laughs> At where? Well, wolf. Ow! <laughs> this is like a little village almost, right? It is, and when there's not a global pandemic. There's little shops. Um, like this would have been a little shop. And there's like little shops over there. Spitball bar sign. I love that they have windows for everything. Yeah, that's usually, that's their little event center. This area is so cute. Ow! <laughs> Thank you. Aww. I love this tree with the ivy. Oh, it's beautiful. Baby. Let's go sit in the gazebo for a second. Why is it? One of your favorites here. I I love wolves. That's probably what first attracted me to the place. And then um, they really do have great beer. So if it's your first time, I recommend getting the flight so you can try a little bit of everything. <clears throat> Their howling pumpkin is awesome in the fall. Um, I like I love Devil's Backbone. I love going to Bullet Rock. I love those places. But I love that Wild Wolf is still kind of small and yeah. quaint and. Um, it's not quite as huge as those other breweries. Um, nice. It feels still feels like we found a little getaway, a little place that maybe not everybody knows about. And they have blonde honey. <laughs> you come to Wild Wolf, you get blonde honey. Or the Area 51. 151. 151. Because this road is 151. That's why it's called. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Get them. Look at them. They're like, oh, you're coming to feed us? Hi. So, guys, we Hi. don't have any food. Oh, wow, look at them. <laughs> They're so beautiful. <laughs> feed us. Bye, Wild Wolf. <laughs> On the road. He's it.
Mm. That is really beautiful. <laughs> Just look at her in her natural habitat. And in the morning, So I came downstairs to all of this and I didn't notice the extra cards at first so I am very eager to figure out. I understand that this is my birthday card but I don't understand what the rest of them are for so I'm super eager to find out what's inside. You gonna say something? Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. Dang it. <laughs> hey, it's my birthday. Whoop, whoop. Already opened my presents, which were amazing. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Um, but I, I didn't want to open everything at the same time, so I wanted to kind of extend it. And so I'm going to pick one and open them throughout the day. Love it. So I'm going to start with my first one. Oh, you're doing it right now. No, 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 not on camera. Oh, good. Yeah, that's private, you guys. Mm. We are at Bold Rock, and I am so excited. Love this place. I've only been here once, um, so I'm I'm super excited to be back, and I'm super excited to have my... It's not a Moscow Mule. It's their version. It's... What's it called? The copper Mug Mule. The Copper Mug Mule. So, let's go in. Let's go. Obviously they don't make them here because she said they um, they were waiting for them to be shipped. So that's fine. <clears throat> I don't. I wanted to try their hard tea, which they also did not have. So. So they don't make that here, but they do. They did have obviously stuff on tap. Um, this is new. She said this was just released yesterday. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Taste test. Bold Rock exclusive. It's not bad. Does it taste like a vodka soda? Yeah. It's like, um, tastes sweeter than vodka soda lime. I think I'd just rather have a vodka soda. I don't know that I would need to drink that. And you um, got the... But I got the rosé. I'm very excited about this. I think I've had this one. <laughs> good. And then the bartender heard us talking about the champagne cider. Okay, we all know how much we love champagne. Yes, this one is called Vat Number no. 6, so she gave us a sample to try. I'll let the birthday girl go first. Oh, thank you. Oh, looks like a winner winner champagne dinner. My turn. Dang, now I gotta finish this so I can get one of these. Yeah. Yeah, this is the winner, right? So what, does it just taste like champagne? How would you describe it? It tastes like champagne with a hint of cider. So it tastes like, instead of making a mimosa, you made like a 
Cider Rosa. Stop it. <laughs> Cider Rosa. Cider Rosa. Try again. I, you know, I like Cider Rosa. I think that sounds great. I'm not a connoisseur of champagne. I'm not explaining this great. It's good. Just drink it. So tell them what we had to do to get in here. We had to. Well, it sounded like we went through an ordeal. Well, I mean, it's just different it is, than normal. It's different than normal. Um, so, normally you could just walk in and there's a crowd of people everywhere. It's a little different. Now you, there's a, like a hostess outside where we first came up. And she asks if you want inside or outside. Then she gives you a menu with your table number on it. And uh, you have to order food and drinks at the bar. Yeah, so I don't think there's anyone going to be... Um, going to be coming out here and serving us. We're, this is just where we're sitting. If we want another drink or something, we're going to go back inside. That's a beat. Here, you can have that can too. Why are bees and wasps attracted to you? Everywhere I go. Oh, dang. That's like an actual bee. Go away. You're like a honey-making bee. I can't even kill you. You're like important. Please be important over there. So this is our gorgeous view today. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I love this place. You look like a mountain goddess right now. Oh wow. This is gorgeous. Look at her. Look at my wife. Ashley. Come back. Beautiful. Wow. What a cool, what a cool hangout. Loved, love, love, love this so much. I had to get a four pack. Um, so this is the vat. And I also grabbed this koozie because how cool is this texture? We said it feels like a... It feels like a moccasin. I really like it. I knew she would love it. So this is from my girl. Um, and it, it definitely, it feels like the inside of a moccasin. Yeah. So we got these two things and we cash out and we are about to go to... Stop number two, Devil's Backbone. We love Devil's Backbone. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you there. <laughs> Not a devil's backbone right now. We went in and they asked us if we had a reservation. We said no and they said, oh, we can't see you for the rest of the night. So then I said, well, can I sit at one of those many empty picnic tables? And we'll tables? decide if we don't want to be yeah. rained on anymore. Yeah, that's a giant pretzel. Sorry, <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> so we drove a little bit down the road closer to um, where we're staying to Blue Toad Hard Cider. A beautiful location. Here, try it. Do you like it? Yeah, but it's not my favorite. I think the black cherry or the orange crush was better. Ooh, ooh, it's ooh. Very tart. Ooh, it's a little tart. So far, the black cherry was the best. Yeah, this is yeah. the best. Cup number 1205. <laughs> This one, if it was colder, might be my favorite. So I'd say this one and the... So what was this one called again? The barrel-aged pineapple cider. 
that's it for the day. We're going home to our cabin. <gasps> we may or may not make some pizza. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of this birthday, princess's birthday. <laughs> so we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>